<sighs> Let me read you a letter that I wrote to one of the girls I was seeing. <sighs> I'll show you. Hey, don't look at her email. I'll show you, but we can't put her name. So, editors, we're going to put it here. So, letter to, mm, I know her email, cool. So, I did this uh, three days ago at 6.50. That's what... <laughs> her name. I've been thinking, okay, I did, chat GPT helped me where it is. Or I tried to, I was like, make it sound emotional, but whatever. <laughs> I've been thinking about you a lot lately, and I had a dream about you, and that made me realise I needed to reach out. I felt like I owed you an explanation for everything. This is true. So some context here, you know how I was dating like three girls and then came four and then we got one girlfriend now. This was like the, the girl who was like the 23 year old virgin. So she's only been with me. I'm going to go to Club Motive and I think she's going to be there anyway. So hi. <laughs> I know she don't watch my thing, but um, on, a, on a serious note, like I did have a dream about her. And it was kind of lingering in mind. And, I, and this is me being sensitive. I was like, was I a bit too harsh, you know? Because I never gave her explanation for blocking her. I said I used to sit here and I wrote these posts and I was explaining and I told her you have to control your emotions if you want to be in my life and you're not going to be the only one. And, you know, she still talked to me, but I know she wasn't truly happy and we're going to talk about this in a sec. But I don't know, like, because she's a good girl and I, was like, I gave her so many chances. I just wanted her to be like, compliment my life well, but I just, I couldn't do it in... I was going to ruin myself and we're going to see here, as, as I said, but yeah, I had to let go of her, you know, but I never gave her an explanation. I told her numerous times like what would happen and I was very serious, but one day, yeah, she gave me the text message, the editors will put it there. She gave me that text message. She switched her thing. You can see her, her energy there and I just blocked her the next day and, and that was it. Yeah. What we had was real to me, and everything I wrote here is true, and it chat GPT helped me made it emotional, but everything is true. What we had was real to, real, real to me, and I want you to know that you're <laughs> dyslexic, <laughs> and I want you to know that you're a good, loving person, and I've always seen you as someone with that wifey potential, that's true. I miss you, but at the same time, I knew you would have destroyed me if we kept going. You just want what I needed in my life to compliment me, even though part of me really wanted you to be. Again, that's true. She wasn't what I needed her to be. What am I meant to do? I'm not 16 anymore. To be like, ah, there's a girl. There's so many other girls that will. It's an abundance mindset. My life's going up. What can I do? Ruin myself and everything I worked for for one girl? No way, I can't. Even a girl who's little short and like, ah, oh, she's with her little, ah, oh, I care about that girl. I, want, oh, I really want to fuck her again or whatever. I feel like your emotions were all over the place. Some days you were okay and other days it felt like you couldn't control how you were feeling. I think a lot of that came from you not fully accepting that I wasn't going to be committed or loyal to you. I was upfront about this from the start. Again, I told you, I'm always honest with girls. I told her she wasn't going to be the only one. Maybe in time things would have changed, but she wasn't going to be the only one. I was upfront about this from the start, but I think maybe you thought it would change or be different over time. But that's just how it had to be if you're going to be with me at this point in my life. Again, I give girls a choice. They know what they're getting themselves into. They see the things I post. Okay, a lot of it's fake, but they understand. They understand my work. I tell them the truth. You're not going to be the only one. I'm sorry, and that's how it's going to be. Would you like this or not? Do you still want to talk to me or not? She knew, and she still wanted to talk to me, so she's okay with it, right? Maybe not deep down, and that's why her messages were whatever, and... When she messaged me on that day, I just said, put that screenshot up again. I was actually with my main girl and we had sex in her studio. And again, it's like maybe she got instincts that I was with another girl. But again, I told her like she wasn't going to be the only one, you know. You probably hate me and I get that. I'm sorry I didn't give you an explanation sooner. But the truth is you are a weakness for me. That's so true. She controlled my emotions. I said when I was going to go to that festival, I sat here, came out of my shower, I was crying. I was crying like, <gasps> like actually crying, like in anger as well, because I just wanted her to, you know, I just wanted, like she was making everything so difficult and this wasn't me. And it was like things that I was experiencing six years ago. And I'm sitting here and, and I was somehow arguing with her at the train. So I never argue with any girl. And the window's open, my, my sister and dad are hearing me like, is he arguing? What the fuck? Like, even they think, like, I'll never do this stuff. Ever, ever, you know? But she brought that side out of me. Because I, I wanted her in my life and I cared and she was a good girl and she's the weakness, even how I'm talking. Ah! But she was going to destroy me. She wasn't 
doing right and I knew I had to close my eyes and take the shot and pull the trigger but I couldn't do it because of my emotions and that's just the truth I knew if I didn't pull away you would have torn me apart even though I gave you so many chances that's true I explained to her six times here six times I've never done that for anyone six times I gave her more than enough if you wanna date all these girls today and get all of this for free or join my school link in the description below and i don't do that for anyone that's true that should show you how real it was for me but i do apologize for the way it ended yeah again maybe it's me being soft i don't know maybe it's just my emotions but i felt like i should have maybe just had the discussion saying listen baby it's not gonna work whatever but i sent her a message uh, uh editors will put that screenshot there i sent her a message saying i can't do this anymore it's wrong from the start and uh, that was true but maybe i should have had a face to face i don't know Felt like I was just, I had too much, like, I sat with her so much and explained so much that it wasn't even needed. I just had to get away. It was just on my mind. Just, I just wanted to do it in that moment to just get rid of it for good, but maybe I should have. I care about you and I'm always, I'll am i always support you from a distance no matter what. The door's are always open if you ever want to talk again and see where things go. Okay, so I told ChatGBT to kind of write it at the end to see... Okay, realistically... Ugh, uh, is she gonna change in that time? She's not gonna change. Like this is me being completely honest. I'm still being honest here, but I just wanted to see that. Like, okay, I just I just want to fuck her again because I only had sex with her once. I wanted to have sex with her a few more times at least. But whatever. Uh, realistically, she's not gonna come back. Um, and even if she was, I knew she wouldn't. So I saw her right here. I won't ever message you again unless you reach out first. I always care about you. Love, Kiri. So you don't need to blow that. It's my name, yay, X. Well, so obviously I knew, um, yeah, I knew she would, So I've actually, again, being completely honest, I've called her like twice or three times over like two or three months just to see. I'm, it still rings, so she hasn't blocked me, but she, I know she sees it on my phone. Um, again, I've even requested her on Instagram. Again, it's just chilling there. She's, she's fair enough, fair enough for her, fair enough to her. Like if she says it's done, it's done. I respect that. And I only did that. I only did that because, again, want to have sex. Wanted to maybe just talk and maybe wanted her a bit of my life. And maybe, if I'm being completely honest, this is a bit vindictive, but maybe wanted a bit of like. I wanted to see if I could get her back because of how much, like, not heartbreak, but how, how, how she made me lose myself, you know? I, I couldn't believe, like, I couldn't believe it, how a girl could do that to me and that, uh, you know, maybe I wanted a, a bit of payback. I was just, I should be honest, but not that much. Just wanted to see if I could have sex with her again. That's the truth, okay? Uh, so that's why I'm here. If you ever want to talk again, see where things go, like, I knew she's going to say no anyways. Um, <laughs> and fair enough, uh, she hasn't, and we probably won't ever speak again. But I, I know, I sent it to her. Has she read the email? Uh, who knows? Uh, I'm not really bothered. Um, it's just really for my peace of mind and closure. Um, she was a good girl. And again, the biggest lesson I've learned from that scenario is just because somebody is a good girl or virgin or whatever, she's not a key. Don't ever lose yourself with this emotion and this gaze of this innocence that I saw, you know, because she still had an imper imperfection so so much where she could barely communicate properly or you know I'll, I'll go uh, i met her in central uh, uh, i put the video but i can't uh, uh, maybe uh, no she doesn't want to be on thing our editors asked me i might put sign here maybe probably not or i'll put some video but i met her met her in central whatever some guy comes over he's asking for money like one of these donation people i'm there whatever girl walks past he looks he turns his head i turn my head because again, she knows that's how I am. I'm always going to look at other girls. I I'll go without other girls that oh, she her ass looks big and whatever. And I know girls won't like it, but again, that's I've explained them all this before and I've explained how I am and I'm not going to change. So I look over as well and she goes like that and taps me in front of him. I'm like, I've never had a girl like, not hit me, but like tap me like that and it's like I did wrong. And obviously I see it like she did her makeup. She looks nice. She's a good girl. She's that whatever. But it's like, darling, I was never the right fit for you because you know I'm not going to be committed, you know. But it's like you're the one who took it on because maybe you can't resist my tattoo or my clout or whatever, whatever you're attracted to me for. 
You know, you, you can't, you'd rather share the alpha than settle or get committed for the beta, as they say. And look, that's fair enough, but she should understand what she's getting herself into. Obviously, I'm never going to be disrespectful. I'm out with a girl I'm seeing and be like, oh, cold approach other girls. But if I, there's a girl and she's nice and I'll, I will look at her and I don't, I don't care who looks at me or whatever. And you can say that's wrong or whatever, but that's just what I do. I'm with my, my main girl. I still look, I even say it to her. She laughs as well. Because again, it's not that it's not that deep. There's girls I find attractive, so even even that when she kind of like went like that and she got annoyed in front of him and made us like look weak, I was thinking, wow, that's crazy. I've never experienced that, you know. It's just a girl like that should have just waited for marriage, and she wasn't waiting for marriage, but she should have just like got a long term boyfriend or whatever and been committed to have sex. Fair enough. Hopefully, it's a lesson she can learn. I've learned lessons as well. Um, my conscience is clear. I wrote this thing just to clear it up. And, you know, I always care about her, just like some other girls in my past, like Albanian girl or other girls, whatever, you know, I always care about her. But again, I did what was right for myself. And that's what you have to do in life. You have to do what's right for yourself. And the second you let other people influence or control you or dictate or you're acting differently, I'm telling you for, for, for free. You're going to fucking lose yourself. Close your eyes, take the shot, you know what to fucking do. Take your emotions out of it. Have a wank, have a clear mind and do what's best for you and your future. That's what I did, sweetheart. I'm sorry if I hurt you, but I had to save myself, you know. As Alex Samozi said, I'd rather be hated by everyone and enjoy my life. Or, you know, be present with myself than the other way around. And I understood this so many years ago. Thank you.